Time, esse jogado de Liceu que eu indico a minha live from my office in the UK and to them, very excited to share with you my secrets on this particular topic. Now, why build multiple, you should build an email list and I'm making a case for new bloggers, new online entrepreneurs, people starting out or people who are using their company uh, branded uh, capture pages and things like that to uh, grow their business and uh, don't realize that if you don't build your list, you'll always be building someone else's list. So let's get into it. Why build an email list and do they even work? Do email lists work? Yes, they do. And here's why. Because the foundation of any online business, in fact, not just an online business or an, a, a business, is a strong, responsive email list. In other words, a targeted list of people who have opted in or subscribed into your offers or, or what you're offering and accepted to receive email and information from you. And uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Julie Seal Kalunji. I am a trainer. I'm a speaker. I'm based in the UK and I'm a home business entrepreneur. So I walk the talk. And I have built uh, multiple businesses online and that is what I do. I work at home. I'm there for my family and I am doing what I do every day. I blog at julescalpoli.com and I'm also the chief contributor to uh, an, a niche of a blog at pkjewelsworld.com. I'm a podcaster on Your Part Echoes with Jules Carl on iTunes and SoundCloud and you can find my videos on here on YouTube and uh, you can visit our Facebook page at Rise with Julie, Seal and Polly Kalinji is good. So let's get into the topic of today. I'm, I'm talking to you, the serious business builder who knows that building email lists is an essential part of your business. Uh, if you do not believe that and or, you, or you're just uh, blogging for a hobby or you, you're just you're just kind of following your friend or auntie Rose who told you about it. I suggest you either pay attention or this is not for you. Now, why build email lists? I'll tell you why. Even our local Audi is building email lists up and down the country. They offer you today, this morning, I popped in to grab some, some, some groceries and I was told, I was told if you go online at telaldi.com and complete a survey you'll be in a chance in with a chance to win a follow-up now you probably had that say before today i'm going to give it to you in a whole different way and it is true the fortune is in the follow-up but is every follow-up is every follow-up built the same way not all follow-ups were created the same and i'm going to share with you why if you are like most of the thousands of entrepreneurs I've spoken to and worked with over the last four years, your follow-up systems may leave something to be desired. And that's why you are not building and you're not creating the residual income that you desire. And it's not your fault. But from today, if you do not take into consideration what I'm giving you, it will absolutely be your fault if you do not create an income online. So the fortune seems to have become an elusive butterfly for you, I believe. So trust me, I know because I've been there and got the t-shirt. So you should and can build a massive mailing list via social media. And social media is your online marketplace. Social media is where you're going to find people from all walks of life across the globe who are looking for your very offer. Social media is a place where you connect with people, get social, find out where they are, what makes them tick their pain points, and find out whether you can help them or point them in the right direction. And here is why it's possible. Remember, the fortune is in the follow-up, as we said before, and here is what that looks like in three proven tips. Number one. Like I've said, social media is, is key. It's very essential, in fact, to building a massive email list. And the fortune is in the right follow-up. And I told you before that not all follow-ups are created the same. So here is what, here is how I'm breaking it down for you. The fortune is in the right follow-up. If you have the right follow-up sequence, if you have the right baby, if you're sending the right emails to your opt-ins at the point when they're opting in and thereafter, you are going to get a sale. At least the 80-20 rule applies. You're going to get at least 20% sales made. And in fact, most people 
have lists whereby they get they, they make the most sales from 20% of their list. People who have a higher opt-in rate and, and conversion rate are really, really crushing it. And I guarantee you they are not sharing their secrets because they want to stay on top of their game. So the right follow-up produces long-term results. And why is that? Because according to an online marketing expert, Brenda Norman, in most niche markets or specific groups of people that you serve, these are the statistics that are going to make you sick. 3% are actively shopping for what you offer. 3%. That is a very low figure. So if you have, if you have an email list that has only 5 people, well, 3% of 5 work the max. So you, you got to actively promote and actively share value content and build your your brand up so people start to trust you and opt into your offers or whether it's a freebie or it's a paid offer because only three percent are actively shopping for what you have to offer and the main idea here is that you have to know who those three percent are if you don't know who you're targeting you need to have go through the training that we offer on avatars and that was taken off the public the public uh, view on our website, you need to get in touch with me, Julie Silka uh, via our uh, Facebook or any of our contact pages on our website. And I'll share with you how you can zone in and know who your target market are so that you can at least grab the 3% that are actively shopping for what you have to offer. Now, 7% are aware of what you're offering. They are open to your services, but at that, that very moment, they're not looking for them. So unless you make it their business by being in their faces in the right way, not spamming them, you will then be missing out on that 7%. So now you have 10% right there that are actively shopping for what you offer. And, and they are also aware and they are open. But uh, a large portion of that 10% are not looking for what you're offering. Now, 30% are not aware of their problem or your solution. That means there are 30% people who don't even know they have a problem or that you have a solution to it. Unless you either follow up or place your offer right in front of them. They, they wake up to your offer. They see your vision. They see the vision that you the problem that you are presenting that they have and they see your solution and they may opt in. But here's the thing. 30% may not exist, but it's not the right time for them. So these people know that you are actively promoting something. They know you exist. They like your offers. They, they actually keep giving you amazing comments. But it's not the right time for them to buy or they, they don't yet feel that pain hard enough. They don't yet feel the pinch. And therefore, your medicine, your solution, your pain uh, solve is not actually hitting the spot. So you now have 60% of people that are not even aware or are not particularly actively in your, in your view or in your line of your offer. And then 30% are simply not a fit. They're just not the right fit for what you're offering. And you've, got to, you've just got to accept that and you've got to let those go. But here is the deal. You've got 67% of people that you are going to leave on the table and they're going to walk away and you're going to walk away and continue to struggle if you are not building a, an email list or, in fact, like I, I said at the beginning, if you're not building multiple email lists. Why? Because you have several things that are going on in your brand. You're not just all about one. You're not one-dimensional. You're multi-dimensional and you're, there are several things you can you can be offering. Like in our brand, we offer several uh, several offers and several PDFs, videos, trainings on different aspects of marketing, online marketing that can help you and enrich your business. So you're not one-dimensional. In the same way, if you're not building your list and you're not uh, setting out and asking people to opt into your offers, subscribe to your blog, subscribe to your podcast, subscribe to your videos, uh, they, then they're walking away and they're not aware. That's the 67% right there that you are missing. And that means if you're not following up on, the, on, the, on those that actually opt into your offers, you are leaving behind 67% of people that might be ready to buy or sign up for your products or services down the road. Mm, ouch. That is a big ouch. It is essential that you keep them informed, keep in touch, keep giving value, build trust with these people that have opted into, they're not ready to buy you, they've made them aware of their problem, and they're aware of your solution, they've opted in, but they're just not quite there yet. 
well, you need to build onto the relationship with all these things and you need to inspire them and others to opt in because while these are waiting and are making up their minds, you need to have more people find that, that uh, or the other 3% uh, all over the place that are looking for your kind of solution. Social media, people, is your marketplace. There are so many. There's abundance. Abundance abounds. Inspire people and inspire others to opt in to your offers and this is the second second tip and step that i said i would be offering you and was telling you that not all follow-ups are created the same instead of chasing people and pitching them day and night with one offer after another and getting them to be either so angry they just ignore you or they unsubscribe inspire them to opt in and you could start with you could start with uh, your videos that this is how you get started inspiring people. Uh, sharing blog posts every day, you're missing out on a shed lot of people who don't particularly like blog posts, are not in, are not sensitized about blog posts, don't particularly care to read uh, uh, how many pages or how many texts post, but they are happy to watch a video, especially if it's not very long, very, very long. And on Facebook, People are happy to watch Facebook videos. Now, on, on Twitter, you've got Periscopes, and people are not quite there yet on watching the scope live on, on Twitter. Not many people do. But on Facebook, you will get hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of people watching your video, and you don't even know who has watched it because you just keep check when you check your video that you posted on Facebook, you just see that you've got 100 views, 200 views, 300 views, 600 views, thousands of views. For some people, get actually thousands and millions of views on Facebook videos. It depends on what you're sharing and how attractive it is to people, and therefore Facebook shows it to people and how active you are and engaging you on Facebook. Now, Facebook Live, Periscope, Podcasts. Uh, all those are the soft landings you can use if YouTube is a little daunting for you. And I know YouTube can be daunting because a lot of people uh, try YouTube, see no one is watching their videos and give up. And the, the answer is simple. You're not optimizing your videos. You're not, you're not uh, finding the right keywords. And therefore, you're missing out on people who, who may be looking for your, for, your, for your solution. So YouTube may be daunting. And again, we have lots of uh, training on YouTube marketing that you can grab. Uh, get in touch with me if you're watching this video and I'll share with you some. Make sure to point people to your office in your video. This is something that's very essential. When you're making videos, whether Facebook video, uh, Periscopes or podcasts, have a call to action. That's what it is. When you're pointing people to an offer, that is your call to action. And whatever action you are wishing them to take, People, you will have a percentage of people taking that action if they cast a resonate with you, if they if they are inspired by you, and they are looking for your kind of solution, and you're the kind of person that they feel they can work with, or they can buy from, or they can partner up with. You will get people coming and opting into your list, and you're building your email list. Now, here's why: because you will inspire them to take up or enroll for your various offers and emails with consistent videos, consistent sharing, great tips how-tos, strategies, tricks, and showcasing your expertise, also known as posture. Now, when you consistent, consistently put out videos, uh, for instance, every Monday we share Pinterest tips. I do share Pinterest tips every Monday via our Facebook page and our YouTube channel and our blog posts sometimes. Then people come to look at, to look at you as that part go-to person for that particular uh, platform, product, or service. So start showcasing your expertise because you do have some experience and expertise to share. And why videos are great for email list building? It's because people will see your face. People, videos have the power to inspire people to say yes, right there on the spot or on your web page, depending on where you put your video, because people can see you, they can hear you, they can hear your voice, they, they, they understand, you've told them where you are from, so you, you know they, you, they feel they want to find someone local. Like I told you today that I'm based in the UK and Maisie side, again, people who are locally based in this area can actually resonate with what I'm saying, and they want to reach out to someone local, someone they can actually meet, or, 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 or someone they feel... Uh, if they resonate with you, really, you touch them, you touch them, your story touches them. So I strongly, strongly recommend that you have a video on any kind of web page where you have an offer for a product or a program. This will majorly, majorly increase your email opt-ins and sales if it's done right.
if you put a video on a web page or, or a post where you have an offer or a product or a program, this will majorly increase your email opt-ins and sales if, you, if it's done right. And again, we have various uh, trainings which we can help you to do just that with video marketing. So, and if you think you need dozens of tools to get the job done, well, you have, a, you, have a, you know, think again, think again, because you have your, your Android, you have your, you, you have your trusty Nikon, you have your, your computer, you have your tablet. They are all cameras waiting for you to shoot some video in, in its rawest form and just upload it to YouTube or to Wistia or onto Facebook and you are good to go. In fact, when you broadcast a, a Periscope, it is actually live at that moment. You're live streaming. And almost all these platforms now have live streaming services. There's Facebook Live. Of course, there's Periscope. And there's YouTube Live, live streaming. So you don't have an excuse. Get started today. Get started today and serve and over deliver. This is the third tip. Don't just give a tip. A lot of people give one tip in a video. I, I know that there is a very low uh, intake or t very low, <coughs> excuse me, uh, people lose interest very quickly. But if you're serving value and you're over de delivering on the value, I guarantee you people are going to pay attention on, on a video that's more than 10 minutes long. And with several email lists, you're, of course, encouraged to find great content to share with your loyal subscribers and add value to their lives and businesses. So over deliver there is nothing wrong with sending an email every day to your list if you're offering them value uh 60 yeah, in fact 80 20 rule 80 percent value 20 percent pitch uh or sale uh i don't like to use the word pitch but you know what it's the truth we do pitch things to people through our emails uh in a very very subtle way now segment your lists like i said uh earlier on you have several offers, you're not one dimensional, you're multi dimensional, so you have different people that have opted into different offers, so their interests are kind of different. So, create segments of those lists and send those people the things that you are offering that are uh, of interest to them. If you create a product for Pinterest users and you have a, a group of people that have subscribed to your Pinterest list, then you definitely send them that uh, product or that offer or that content, piece of content that refers to Pinterest, that uh, uh, update, that trending topic. Let them know that something is going on on their beloved platform. Share what matters to the subscriber, subscribers. Now, here's the thing. Many find this a major issue. Uh, they have excuses like it takes time, it's tiring, where are the people, how, when, where, etc., etc. See, the people are waiting for you on social media when you share the content. Share videos, podcasts, uh, uh, blog posts, content that, that uh, resonates with people, quotes, share your lifestyle, and people will, will resonate with you. So those excuses just don't hold water anymore. It's tiring. Well, you'll be more tired working uh, 40, 48 hours a week every day, and you barely have time to do anything else. And uh, 20, 30, 40 years from now, you're still doing the same. It takes time. Yes, it does. Maybe two, two years, even three, even five. Uh, but once it's done, it's autopilot, and you're raking it in, and if you look at the people that have already got where where you want to go, you can see, and when you listen to their story, you will see that it's taken them a few years, maybe two, three to five years. But once it's done and they've done it properly, it is, you are coasting, you are coasting. So we've been asked these questions before, uh, like how do we keep on top, churning out great content every week, podcasts, videos, blog posts, and the answer, I, I'll tell you now, the answer is a huge wow. I have a huge one. I know where I want to be. I know that I want to help as many home business entrepreneurs and small business owners and online marketers as possible to achieve the life of their dreams by leveraging social media and branding themselves and creating that residual income from the ground up. So I focus, I do research, I do content creation. There is nothing new on the internet. You, Whatever you find, you if you look hard enough, you'll find it on the internet. So the idea is to curate the content. And this is where we find proven content, proven strategies, tips, hacks, uh, and, and steps, and we add to it. We make it even better. 
you know, we, we improve it. And there are three ways to create and improve on great content. If it's already great, there's, there's still something you can add to it. Uh, you can add depth to it. This is where the research comes into play. If someone has written a post that says uh, 20 best tools on XYZ, you could you can definitely, you are guaranteed you'll find an extra five or 10 out there and that you're adding depth. So you, you then, you say 25 uh, tools or tips for XYZ. Number two, you can make it longer with value, not fluff. Don't add fluff to it at the top of it and then bottom of it and then make it longer and and, and, and copy and paste and all that crap. You know, that's crap. If you're an, an integral marketer, you must not be doing that. Uh, number three, make it immediately implementable. So whatever you share that is uh, in terms of video or, or, or podcasts or, or periscopes, Make sure that there is something implementable in it that they can immediately apply and see results quicker because we like to see results very quickly. Add a how-to action plan, a tutorial, a PDF, or even a video. Make sure people can apply. When people can apply something immediately, uh, it, they may not immediately see results, but they feel they've taken some action from what you've given them, and that that is gold right there. That That is what creates and builds rapport and builds trust in you and your brand. And uh, all the above three elements combine to deliver instant value to your audience and also attract more people to your email list because people will share that value with their friends by sending them your link uh, and, and sharing with them this awesome content they have found. So this is how you do it. This is how you get to build a great uh, uh, a number of, of email lists and get a great number of opt-ins that can actually take you from zero to thousands of pounds dollars every month in income residual income so if you if you triple traffic to your blog if you're not just sharing your blog on social media and expecting that to be the end all and be all and you're sharing your your posts and your videos all over the place you're, you're creating videos you're pointing people to your 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 posts from every direction from twitter from social media from pinterest from linkedin uh you from google from search engines i guarantee you you will get some opt-ins and improve your email list statistics and you can find five untapped blog traffic sources in an in article that we wrote i'll leave the link in the description below this video and you can grab those untapped tra blog traffic sources and i guarantee you're going to find something you have not yet tapped into on that post and start to get more traffic to your uh, topics now. Your emails should accomplish the following things because if they don't, then you're not getting traction in your in your endeavors. Number one, they must educate. You must you must teach your audience something new or something about who you are. If you're not educating them in any way, then it just falls falls flat. Number two, you must entertain or engage. Now, your emails should either accomplish all of these or at least the majority of these, entertain or engage. You want to get them to buy by appealing to their desires, their fun side or their emotional sides, wants or needs. So if your email is doing, is educating them, is entertaining them and engaging them, you are more than halfway there. Uh, and then you must upsell. At the point when somebody is opting into your offer, that is when they are a red hot lead. I guarantee you, no one stays hot all year, all the time. Even someone who opted into your offer when they were definitely in need of that that service or product uh, goes goes back to warm or just cold. So at, at the point when they opt in, that's when you can actually move them to the next step of buying, and they don't. It doesn't have to cost much, and so upsell. The, in the back end of your complimentary free or zero cost offer, add an upsell. Offer them something that is linked to that particular product that you're giving them. And if they've already bought, ask them questions. Learn what else they want. It could be their survey or it could be their uh, a question at the bottom of your of your offer or your or your follow up email. Just ask them and I guarantee you. A small portion of those people will actually respond and let you know what it is that you the answer to the question you're asking. Now, re-engage, retarget, and entice. Like I said before, you must always uh, over deliver, and here I am doing exactly that. Re-engage, retarget, entice them back. 
a lot of the time I receive an email from somebody that I opted into say three, four, five, six months ago and they say, hey Julie, uh, uh, I know I know you are busy but we have not heard from you, you have not clicked our emails for a long time and we wonder whether you really still want to be on our list and we're offering you XYZ as, as a kind of uh, an enticement, we're motivating you to stay on our list and not only just stay but to get engaging and to read our content and to, and to open our emails. So you can re-engage, retarget, entice your email email people back. Get them to become returning customers, or better still, to pick up a monthly payment plan or product from you. Now, not everybody can have a monthly payment plan, but hey, you pay monthly bills. You're paying somebody on a payment plan. Your gas, your electricity, your mortgage, your rentals, your phone. It's a monthly payment plan. Why not create something that also pays you per month that people will gradually, with time, opt into you because we don't opt into everything. So in the same way, you will get people who are ready and happy to opt into your offers and <coughs> excuse me, and take things forward. So do you want to learn more? Do you want to learn more on how to build your business, how to build multiple email lists, and how to move from A to, to the next level of your business and not have to sit and watch your computer every day? I encourage you to check out our secret affiliate roadmap at julescowpoly.com forward slash cast B. Uh, the link is right in front of you. And take the opportunity to swipe our highly converting email templates. I guarantee you uh, a lot of people are looking for for. for scripts and right here i'm offering you our uh, email templates and they do work and um, you can tweak them and uh, amend them to suit your needs or your niche because they are multi they can be used and converted for any niche uh, i know because i've offered them to different people and i also received them from somebody who had who told me how to use them and they do work now what do you need to get the edge because you want to get the edge from other people that are not watching this video. Number one, you'll need to set up your sales funnels, which must include a CRM or mailing host platform like Aweber. Now, I know maybe you've already got your sales funnel going, but you're just not getting traction. Well, that is where your follow-up and your autoresponders and the email swipe file that I've mentioned before comes into play. Get your account for just $1, your Aweber setup for just $1. Try it for a month. For a month, uh, $1, that's literally nothing to you. Try it out. There's the link at julescalpoli.com. Uh, sorry, jeskalunji at eweba.eweba.com. There's the link right in front of you, jeskalunji.eweba.com. Uh, use that link and start your one-month trial on Eweba. See how it works. Check it out. See whether you get any traction. Use it. Or you may use get response, MailChimp, Infusionsoft, whichever CRM you're using, uh, make sure you're not directing your traffic to a company-generated capture page or school space because I guarantee you're building your company's list as opposed to yours. And uh, God forbid if that company ever folds, off they go with the whole, with all your sweat and labor. So why do we love a waiver? Because of the wide range of features, the comprehensive health pages, and the way it works fairly intuitively with our brand. And, and uh, to help you manage your lists, they are very, very, very helpful. The customer services are very helpful. And uh, we have found that they are a better platform for us because we have also used MailChimp as well. Now, whichever platform you choose, this is where you set up your follow-up sequence. And like I said before, you can grab our email swaps. So don't, don't, be, don't be shy. Go grab them. Uh, they, they are complimentary. They are part of the complements of the secret affiliate roadmap. Grab them and see how you can change your life. Now, when you follow up consistently with great content and value, you stay in front of these people that have opted into your offers. Even if they may not be ready today, when they are ready, you'll be at the top of their mind and therefore you'll be the one they hire or buy from or, or partner up with over some random person on the internet. Now, I've seen, I, I, I yesterday I got told by a friend that she, she offered a friend her link and told her about her platform and this person went to Google and then decided and went, carried on and bought uh, the product from that link they found on Google. And I told them, do you know why they did that? Because you did not uh, give them that impression that you could be 
uh, the person to help them. They went and read whatever they read on Google, and this person that they bought from gave them more. They offered more. They offered them bonuses. They over-delivered on the promises even before they delivered what they were looking for. Plus what you had already told them on the so you convinced them on behalf of this other person and the person got the sale. Now that is painful. Don't be that person who just gives people links because that's exactly what they'll do. They'll go on Google, they'll find someone who, who has crafted their offer in such a way that's so, so much more attractive than yours. And you've already have have, have qualified them. They are, they're already sold on the idea. They, they are buying into it, half in their mind. They go on Google, they find this other offer that's more, more better than yours and they're going to go with it. So don't be that person because you don't want your, your, your sweat to go by from a random person off the, off the internet. So imagine how much more money you could make just by staying in touch with the 67% of people who may need you in future. Nurture those relationships and build targeted email lists of clients and potential clients who have subscribed and given you permission to email them. Grab our secret affiliate roadmap. You have seen the link before and absolutely go crush it in email marketing. Or better still, if you feel that you need a bit more information, if you absolutely need to uh, do what I'll tell you at the end of this video. Now, Ryan Dice gives us the rule of thumb for monetizing the list because you're building a list to monetize it and to, to offer them more value and all the things I'll share with you today. So shoot for $1 per person per subscriber per month. If your goal is to generate $5,000 per month in income, focus on growing your email list to at least 5,000 subscribers. That is something that is doable. It is doable because what the, your, the offers you're going to give are not all, all going to be free or going to cost $1. They're going to cost a over and above 5, 5, 10, 20, 50, 200, 300, 500 dollars, depending on what you're offering. It could be a high ticket offer. You could make one sale and make 5,000 $5, dollars a month. It depends on what you're offering. But if you only have that one person and that one person does not have the means to invest in a 5,000 dollar product, you have lost it already. So build your list so you can get people who are able to buy into your high ticket, low ticket and complimentary offers all at the same time. Now, I have found that with targeted and responsive email lists, you can attract more clients and sales via referrals. You can help more people reach their desired goals with your value content and offers. Like I told you, my why is that big. You can promote other people's prog programs that you believe in and earn thousands in affiliate commissions. You can fill your webinars and programs. And I can tell you there's nothing that sells more than a webinar or a teleseminar. You can buy a steady, you can build a steady residual income and live the life you choose. You can turn current customers into repeat clients and brand ambassadors. Now that is priceless. When a customer becomes your mouthpiece without you paying them, without even earning an affiliate commission of you, but because they are getting such great value, they are they are they are singing your services uh, from the rooftops. You have you have cracked the code. You have cracked it. So build responsive lists that are have been proven to me time and again that we are taking advantage of compound interest. When you build a responsive list, this has proven to me time and again that you are taking advantage of compound interest. And compound interest is that interest that starts and accumulates and accumulates and accumulates at every step higher than the one below. So you can do so too. From today, you can do that. You can do that by doing the things I have just gone through the last uh, few minutes with. Don't just put posts out there. Don't just blog to get a few AdSense pennies per click. Uh, that's crumbs. That's just crazy. Go for the whole loaf. Build targeted email lists and eat your cake and have it too. The sooner you get started, the better. And the longer you nurture your list, the more profitable it will be because people continue you build trust you build rapport and of course you'll have a few that drop off and a few that just completely don't even open your emails because maybe they're ending up in their update folder their other folder their you know, social folder or their junk mail and that's down to two things they were not opening your emails from the beginning and therefore they end up in the updates or, or promotional folders or they just they just click the unsubscribe link and you know your emails are not even getting to them so the, low, the bigger your list, 
the more you don't have to worry about people like that. So to quantum leap your email list to the next level, I highly recommend in what I said before, grab our secret affiliate roadmap. And number two, participating in our complimentary weekly power webinars at zero cost to you. There is the link right there, julescalpoli.com forward slash training. Every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, we hold power webinars on various topics and subjects on social media, online marketing, uh, Google, search engines, you name it. And if you're not subscribing to these, you're missing out. And subscribe to our blog at julescalpoli.com forward slash jblog right now because you will find amazing content on our blog that will enrich your business and your brand. And finally, uh, if you've got value today, if you've got value from what I've shared with you right now, subscribe to our channel today and like our Facebook page, Facebook page to be honest, and you will never miss an amazing tip, a strategy or tool that could help you build that residual income that you desire and you start living your life by choice.